Danny is Sig. I see now you. What can I do for you? You had too much this weekend. No, not why. I want you to run a little errand through me. You remember Joey Ackerman, don't you? Joey Ackerman? Yeah, I remember him. He's right nasty bastard. Egg case. He lives down in Devon now. I want you to go down there in the morning and pick up some dosh from him. 100 grand from the oxygen job. There's 10 grand in it for you. Devon? No, I'm not sure I fancy that, Sid. Take money from Joe Ackerman and take the piss, ain't you? You better start fancying it, you mug. You lost your fucking bottle or what? If you want someone to ride around, give Mickey a bell and tell him to go with you. And tell him to take a shoot in case there's any egg. Hang on a minute. I thought you said he was harmless. Don't hurt to be prepared, does it? It's all kosher. Giving up the game now has finally seen sense. Alright, where's he live? Good boy. I'll give you a bell in the morning with the address. But Sid? 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 Fucking hell. Tell us what it Right, lively, this way. Get him out, get him out of there. Get him out, get him out of here. Box, you pray. Well, I don't know. Be quiet, mate. Right, now listen. Sid Nerdin's been on the blower. You are bloody joking. No, mate. It's giving me quite a good offer, actually. He wants me to go down to Devon and collect 100 grand from Joe Ackerman. Bloody hell, Danny. That's all sweet. I know Joe's a bit of a nutter. 
but he's retired now, he's given up the villainy, and he's finally seeing eye to eye with Sid. Anyway, he's offered us three grand each, go down to Devon and do the business. How's that sound? Alright Danny, I'll be down there in 15 minutes. Alright, see you later. SP on this job. Alright. Help yourself to a drink, Mickey. Follow us by my ear there. Alright. Bloody hell, Sid and Erwin, I thought he popped his clogs years ago. Uh, I wish we were thinking, mate. He's still on the scene up to his old tricks. Alright, we ain't got much time then. I'm guessing you need me and a shooter. Oh yeah. I know he's getting on a bit, tough. But he's one dangerous bastard. You must have heard all the stories. Yeah. He's, he's done away with more bodies than fucking death row. I don't know, bloody know it. <laughs> It's all kosher. Yeah. I've spoken to Sid again. We haven't even got to talk to Joey. He's, he's not even going to be there. He's going to leave the money on the doorstep in a plastic bag, nip in, pick up the bag, back in the motor, have it weighing their toes. Right. Simple, isn't it? Yeah. Easy Sounds money. Sounds all right. Easy seven grand you'll ever earn anyway. Sounds all right, Danny. Sounds all right. I thought it might. Seven, I said. Bloody hell you been? Been here half an hour. Bloody Kenny Green's been on the boat. He's buying a hotel in Cyprus. Fuck Kenny Green. He's a bullshitter. Anyway, let's concentrate. Nah, Kenny's all right. Good as gold. Right. Show us what you got. Bloody hell, what do you think this is? Fucking dead army. What? What's wrong with it? You're having a laugh with you, Danny. Yeah. Uh, where are you taking a piss? You wouldn't want to pull it in a nut from it, would you? Right. Good job I've got this then. Have a look at this. Me, Mickey. Where'd you get that? Look, you got to be prepared, Danny. What if this is look, a fucking stitch-up? Look, fucking hell, Mickey. Look, turn it in, will you? Get a sneak. When I said bring a shooter, I thought you were going to bring an handgun. What fucking M16? What do you want that for? That's no, it's all right. It's all right. Look, Look, it's going to be easy anyway, we don't need that. So yeah, we'll be with this. 